What's up everyone, Super Auto Gaming here, and today we're going to do something a little bit different. I know I've been doing a lot of little bit different things each each time I upload, but um, I'm going to live react to gameplay of one of my videos, and uh, we'll just see how it goes. So, we start off with a couple fish, a couple bluebirds... And I wanted to try this because I thought maybe it would be a bit nicer than, like, live commentary. So, at least while I'm reacting, you know, I can talk about other things and still be able to tune in every now and again to see what I'm doing in the game. But yeah, so this should be cool. Um, also, I didn't watch the game beforehand, so I don't really know entirely what happens, but we'll just, we'll blind react to it. I see a lot of dromedaries there, you know, it could be something about dromedary, who knows? I'm sure the title has nothing to do with that. So we go for the, the level two fish, we don't, we don't get what we want. But um, we just keep going here. And honestly, I was not expecting to do anything with this game. I was just playing a random game. Um, silently, of course, because I do that all the time. And, you know, the game wasn't starting off very well. And I was just like, fuck, dude, am I really going to do anything with this? And then this happens. Oh, buddy. And I was like, you know, fuck it, dude. We have to go with the dromedaries here. The game is telling me to do it. So, I thought it'd be really funny to, to go dromedaries. So we start buffing them up. You know, I was like, I guess we'll keep them for a while. Maybe the whole game. Who who knows? But it's funny. It's, it's really funny. I, I love doing weird, funny stuff. Because the game... The game could get a little boring um, if you just do the same thing every time. And you see, like, I don't I don't even go for Rooster there, even though that's amazing Bacta with the, the Bluebird, because I just want more Dromedaries. This is, this is great. And, and you see this build now, I'm at zero trophies, turn five with five hearts, and you go, there is no way he is doing anything with this game. Impossible. And uh, I would, uh, I'd be inclined to agree with you. But now look at these; they are stacking up. So I got three, three on the hatching chick. Oh, that's like a, that's like a pear and an apple. More dromedaries, more bluebirds. This is like a troll game, such a troll game. But with the hatching chick, uh, we might might be able to pull something off here. Hatching chick is so good, especially when it's bigger than a 1-1. One, one. Mm, and you see that skunk. I wonder what that skunk is going to do. So we got a lot of good options here. I was like, man, I would really like to win this game. Would really like to to be able to pull something off here. Two level two dromedaries is pretty funny. To me at least, I think it's really funny. Still buffing dromedaries here. And I was like, you know, let's just freeze the good things in the shop. Because a dromedary is like, uh, it's huge. It's gonna, it's gonna buff them up. So why not? I mean, look at those. Look at those stats. Do we get a bigger than a 1-1 one, one Scorpion as well? Five five is very good. And I keep buffing Dromedary. Yeah, get those two pairs. I wonder who those are going to. And my thought here was eventually when I get this skunk it's going to be amazing because it's going to be so big already to start off with most people's skunks are very small and um they normally don't kill any units so 
I could have done like some weird chicken play too, but I, I like hatching chicks so much more. We buff scorpion here. I wanted it to to get to that twenty attack threshold. So somehow we we're winning. We're winning all of our games, or at least tying. I mean, look how big that dromedary is. And this was perfect, just perfect enough to, to get through the round. Poodle, I like Poodle. I think Poodle is probably one of the best units, but maybe I overestimate it. Um, but here, look at the skunk. The, the snail is getting huge. Imagine if I had like five snails frozen and I just kept winning every every round and then... And then I played the snail, and then I could just have it on board because it would be like, you know, a 30-30 or something. That would be cool. So I, I combined the dromedaries. I don't know if that was the play or not, but I wanted to get the poodle, and I didn't want to have two twos. And it is, it's also still kind of weird because the scorpion is a five, so it kind of doesn't work. And I guess here, like, I was like, I'm just going to lose so I can play Snail and then play my Skunks. And it, it's really rough to lose here on turn 10 with four wins, but I was like, you know, we got to do it. We got to get the Snail in there and, and then pop off the rest of the game. So boom, we Snail. 17-17 Snail. Huge. Absolutely huge. And in hindsight, I should have sold the Poodle first. Because I wanted to play the Skunk anyways. But, you know, you, you can't play perfectly all the time. So I definitely want to get the level 2 Skunk. It's going to be huge. T-Rex is amazing here. And, you know, Snail, 1717. Gotta keep it. You you just gotta keep it. Like that's that's massive. That's bigger than half my units. And for a second I thought I was gonna lose, but I was like, nah, that my snail's so huge. We get some buff on the T Rex, which is really nice. Three three. And then we just <laughs> into another T Rex. What what more could you ask for? It gets a bit awkward here with the, the gold. I would love to have at least one swan, but you can't have everything. Uh, snail again? No, I was like, I won't, I can't sell anything else anymore. Like, this is it. This is the final team. I just have to triple things, buff them with uh, food, and just try my best. The dromedary with garlic really pops off for me here. And the huge skunk. Like, having a skunk that big is really powerful. I honestly did not think my dromedary would, would be doing so well. No, I should buy that melon here. Oh wait, no I shouldn't. I need the three cold. <laughs> wait. Wait a second. Past me is... is making the correct plays. So we got another spawn build with double level 2 turkey and fly. Which was really scary, but again, the skunk is just too big. And my dromedary with garlic. So I'm I'm not going to replace garlic on dromedary. I think I think garlic is so good here for it. You got to have I think having at least one unit with garlic and then the rest can have melon. Uh, but you got to have at least one because summon builds are so prevalent right now. Scorpion reaching the plus 20 attack threshold, which is really nice. And we we might just go all the way here. Look how long I've held this hatching chick for. Am I ever going to play it? Oh, there it is. But I mean, this team is looking, looking huge. And look at that dromedary. 
I don't think I've won with a level 3 dromedary either, so that's cool. Another summon build. And dromedary just does so well with that garlic. And then skunk and T-Rex can clean up. And we're at 9 wins. Turn 16. We are going the distance here. Of course, T-Rex plays a huge role. It's so good, but... Honestly, the dromedary, I would say the dromedary carried it. Dromedary and skunk for sure. And the only reason the skunk did is because dromedary made it so big. But yeah, this guy doesn't stand a chance. My dromedary is so huge. But I hope you all enjoyed that. Um, let me know what you think about either live commentary or after the fact. But um, thank you all so much for watching. Have a good day.